Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to another vlog and I hope you're all having a good day. So today's gonna be a very content packed day. Today's my only day to prep the prelude for gut slappers this Saturday. So I'm gonna wash the prelude, give it a good paint correction, and just give you guys all a step by step of what products I use, what pads I use, and just the sequence of detailing. Like, I'm gonna go so ham on detailing the prelude, I want the paint to just look as best as it can for the show. So let's go ahead and warm up the prelude, put in the driveway, get our buckets ready, and hook up the pressure washer. So let's make today a good day, guys. All right, guys, so on second thought, um, I guess I forgot to wash my towels. So I'm washing them right now, then I gotta let them dry. So in the meantime, I guess we'll just cook some food real quick. So I'm feeling Italian, so we'll try out this Bertoli chicken carbonara and we'll pair it with this Just Chill. This is diamond, by the way. Sit, sit, shake. Beautiful. Bon Appetit, food is done. All right guys, just got done eating. Now let's go for sure, wash and detail the prelude. All right, so just an FYI, my car is not dirty, it's more dusty, so I will be doing methods a little bit differently, but I'll still go over the proper way to wash your car. All right, so the I use an electric pressure washer from Ryobi. I got this at Home Depot for about $110. Really good quality for the price you pay. Comes with, of course, the wand, the nozzle, and some other soap dispensers if you don't have a aftermarket soap dispenser or foam cannon. And then I got this foam cannon off of Amazon for about $15. Well worth the money, the quality is very good. All right, so what I use in terms of products, I always use Adam Paulus's products. I've used Armor All, I use Meguiar's, Mother's, Chemical Guys. And to me personally, Adam's Paulus works very well with my paint. So I always stick with this brand. But I use the Wash & Wax Car Shampoo. Of course for the, for the paint, I just use their Wheel Cleaner. Does wonders for tough dirt and grime. I also use just their glass cleaner. Smells like lemon and lime, really good too. And then as a drying aid, I use their detail spray or their H2O garden gloss. Great products, really works. So that's pretty much all I use during the washing process. I've been using Adams Polish products for about two years now and they've never let me down. But let's go ahead and put the car in the driveway. Even the towels I use are all from Adam's Polish. Well, except for that. And that too. But a majority of it. So this is how it looks pretty much set up. Got your main hose in the back here. And then your hose to the wand. Right there. Okay, so first what I do is just give the wheel a good rinse. Well, not super dirty, but cleans the rotors up pretty nice. And I just continue that step on all four wheels. Then I just let the wheel cleaner sit for about a minute and then I rinse it off immediately. Next, I just fill up my foam can with some soap. Um, I really don't put too much in. I'm just, as much as you think you need. Because the more soap, the more foam. Also, the more fun. And then you always want to use the double bucket method. One for rinsing, one for washing. Look at me, supporting two brands, making them fight against each other. And also I use the grit guard too. Ensures that all that excess dirt stays at the bottom of the bucket. And then assembling the foam cannon is easy. On the stock wand, there is a quick release. And then on the foam cannon, there's a male attachment. And they all are a quarter of an inch, I believe. Next, we'll just foam down the car and we'll just give it a good scrub. Don't scrub in swirls, you'll fuck up your paint. Just scrub horizontally, panel by panel. 
let the fun begin. Just a clean car. So that's pretty much all I do. So in terms of drying, I forgot to buy a leaf blower to air dry, but in terms of drying, Pretty much the same process as washing it. You're gonna use your detail spray, just use a liberal amount on each quarter panel, each part of the car, and then again, just wipe horizontally throughout the whole car. All right, car is all nice and dried. So that completes the washing and drying process. Next, we'll move on to the paint correction. All right, guys, so in terms of polishing, I use a machine. What I use is the Adams Polish Swirl Killer 15 millimeter long throw. Does great work, it's not too small, it's not too big. I do plan on getting the um, 20 millimeter long throw just for bigger projects. All right, so in terms of compounds I use, I use all Adams, heavy, correcting polish, and the finishing polish. Heavy is for really bad imperfections, the correcting is for medium perfections and then the finishing polishes for those just light scratches in each pad is color coordinated with each compound and then I also I use this microfiber cutting wheel for those tough to get out scratches what the hell you make yourself at home I guess what's up Betty have fun walking my dog. What? Have fun walking my dog. <laughs> All right, back to this. But for the preparation of the show, I'll probably just use the correcting polish and the finishing polish, then seal and then seal the paint and then throw a nice coat of wax on. And then of course, when you're polishing with the machine, go panel by panel, take your time. This is also not a process you should rush. So when it comes to assembling the Machine and pad. It's like a velcro surface. It's also the velcro surface Just line up the holes pretty much Make sure it's tight also use some detail spray give it a light mist and then just a Good amount about four dots not too big and then just work it in. It's kind of hard with one hand. And then now you're ready. So next you just wanna, for me I just start on a number three at a low speed. Just kind of to, just kind of apply it in little areas. And then with your slow speed setting, just work it in. And then when you're polishing, like I said, just take your time with it. Go slow, go horizontal, and also vertically with 25% passes. So this is when I'll bump up the machine. Mine goes up to six, but I normally keep it at five. And that's when you just full send.
And then after your correcting polishing stage, you just want to wipe down the excess compound and check for any imperfections. So usually I'll do the front end of the front end of the car, then I'll do the middle portion of the car, and then I'll do the rear end of the car. So I'll go correcting, polish, then seal wax, move on, correcting, polish, seal wax, end of the car, correcting, polish, seal, and then wax. But since I don't want this video to be 30 minutes, I'm just gonna give you, you generally have an idea how the whole polishing setup works, but I'll give you just bits and clips of fast motion areas that I work. So that's pretty much the whole process. I mean, after the correcting, you'll, you'll polish, then you'll seal the paint, and then wax it. Generally all the same steps. You don't want to apply too much pressure, because you don't want to burn the pad. Oh yeah, also, also, already I did this before I started polishing, but always clay bar your car first. That'll remove any contaminants from the vehicle, so you don't create more swirls or mess up your pads. So again, that's pretty much the gist of it. I'm just gonna start working out the car so I can get it done, because I have to work again in the morning, but I'll keep you updated. So I got the front end done. What? All nice, sealed and waxed. The fifth dimension. Uppers. <laughs> Plural? Plural. Ignore my bacon fender. What's up everybody? I forgot what time it is. I think it's like seven, but about halfway done with the car. Probably gonna take a little break because Betty and I are hungry. I'm gonna grab some Chipotle. Back in the jet. There's a fair going on and no one told us about it. <laughs> We're all here busy prepping for the show. Whoa. Wonder how long they're. Let's go to the fair. Oh my god. What do you mean, oh my Let's god? Let's go tomorrow. What? No, we're already here. <laughs> What's up, guys? Just got back from Chipotle. No, you Must be nice. <laughs> Sorry. <FBI. laughs> Thought you were working, brother. I was not. You have my location. I don't check your location all the time. Well, you should. All right, I'll start doing that then. What's up everybody? Just got done with the prelude. She's all nice and washed, clay barred, paint corrected, polished, paint sealed, waxed, all that good stuff. All just to get dirty on the ride to the show. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the video here, but I hope you all had a good time watching. Hope you guys learned a little bit. If you have any questions about detailing, I'll do my best to answer them. Again, if you're local and need your car detailed, hit me up, let me know, I'll take good care of you. But thanks again guys for the love and support. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Next couple of videos will be the preparation for the show. I'll be helping out Chris and Warren and any of, the, of my other buddies that are going to the show. But thanks again guys, aim high, drive low, we'll see you next time.